This hike that I'm on right now feels like an absolute dream. It has all of the elements of my most favorite kinds of hikes. A decent amount of elevation gain, a subalpine alpine environment, some snow, a creek, aspen trees, tons of wildflowers, meadows. I am here in Wyoming, just outside of Jackson Hole, actually in the Caribou National Forest. This area is most commonly known for the Grand Teton National Park, but right now I'm exploring some off the beaten path other options, including this amazing hike in Coal Creek. I'm also going to show you a beautiful campsite in Idaho, which is also still in the Caribou National Forest, only about 45 minutes from here, and it is a little gem. So I hope you enjoy. There's six million ants under that rock. Wow. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Gorgeous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh.
I'm at my campsite in Idaho. It's in Star Valley, Idaho off Forest Road 281. There are a ton of campsites back here and at the very back there's a trailhead and I believe that trail is primarily for ATV usage. Excuse me if you hear any motoring noise in the background. An eight-year-old girl is driving a quad without a helmet on, holding her family dog on her lap, so she's steering with one hand. Other than that, this is a phenomenal campsite. We're staying on Forest Road 281 outside of Star Valley, Idaho. I mentioned in a previous video that one of the things I've been learning while being on the road is that staying at Free campsites like this is a key component in making this affordable. My Aunt Catherine and I are wrapping up about 10 days on the road and we spend about $16 in lodging. That's great. Of course, we've spent a lot more than that in gas or fuel for the rig, but it evens out in a way. I wanted to address something in case some of you were wondering. I know I made an announcement that I would be living out of my Subaru Forester part-time while on the road and that is still my plan. However, right now it just makes sense for me to travel with my Aunt Catherine in her rig because she's been kind enough to offer me that hospitality. It's nice to have her companionship and honestly I'm learning a lot from her that I know I'll take with me as I move into things on my own at some point. When I head back to Utah there are some things that I'll be doing to my vehicle. I've definitely learned some tips from other campers as we've been on the road as well some things that I want to do and projects to complete to the vehicle to make it more suitable for accommodation. I am feeling very grateful but also pretty tired from being on the road for this many days because it's new. It's a huge change and disruption of any sort of routine that I may have had and that in combination with the constant travel and trying to produce videos while being in a new environment all the time, it takes its toll a little bit. I don't want it to sound at all like I'm complaining because I am having an incredible experience, but I also have to be realistic and give myself grace when I'm feeling tired <laughs> that I need to respond to that so that I don't get burnt out. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here and just enjoy the beauty that surrounds me and tomorrow we'll be back on the road back to Utah. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.